welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to use the SurveyMonkey connection with ActiveCampaign. So this is a really helpful tool if you ever want to connect your SurveyMonkey surveys with ActiveCampaign. So that could be to add those contacts that fill out your surveys into ActiveCampaign, to apply tags based on what answers they pick, or to be able to store their actual answers and results in custom fields. So that's kind of what we're going to set up today. Um, but before we dive in and actually put one of these together, I think it's helpful just to show you an example of where this might be helpful uh, and like the different pieces that kind of all play a part in this. And then that way, when we're looking at plus this, it makes perfect sense what you're setting up and how to finish connecting all the pieces so you can launch this thing. So let's go ahead and look at one of my examples that I have here. We are using this for a simple little lead quiz where we offer different SMS strategies here at Plus This. And so we'll send an ad out on Facebook and we'll ask people, um, hey, are you looking into SMS but not sure where to start or what strategy will be best for your business? Go ahead and just take this quiz and we'll help give you some uh, tutorials, walkthroughs, templates, guides, all that stuff for a specific SMS strategy for your business. So they'll come over here and they'll fill, they'll take the little quiz that we have. Um, so we've built this with SurveyMonkey, um, just trying to make it a little fun, interactive. They go ahead and answer their questions here. And what's cool is when they get to the end, we can trigger different follow-up based on what answers they picked in that survey. So when they fill out their email address, we want that contact to be added into active campaign. It will apply a tag through plus this to say, cool, Bryce has finished this survey. He's been added into active campaign. Let's give him his results now based on what he answered in that survey. Um, and I'm just showing a simple example with like two options, but you can do as many as you want with this kind of thing, which is cool. Um, and so that's what's basically happening. And then plus this is applying different tags based on the answers they gave. So that is kind of the idea of this whole thing. And now we'll go back to plus this so you can see how it kind of all comes together. So now that we're back at plus this, we're just going to pick the survey that we want to set this up for. And we'll do um, the first question here just is to match it up with the question in your survey that asks for their email address and then we're going to add our question configuration. So these are all the questions I asked in that, in that survey. And what's cool is when I make these little lead quizzes like I showed there, I already know like if you ask this question, they're gonna get sent to a different question based on that too. So eventually like three or four questions down, we're to the final question that actually is going to determine what results they'll get because we know, hey, they're a product, hey, they, are typically selling this amount and now they're um, focused on this niche so we know all this stuff about them let's send them their result based on that so you don't have to necessarily set this up for every question you ask on a survey but you can if you wanted to um, so anyway what we're going to do here is we can now store that response in a field if we wanted to and this will pull up any fields you have an active campaign or you can create them right here as well if you don't have one yet and then the main thing I'm going to use it for are for the tags. So I can say, hey, if the response is appointments are super crucial, let's apply a tag for like uh, send uh, appointment, appointment SMS results. And then we can just like add the tag for that. And what's cool about this is when we go to our campaign, just to finish setting this up in the actual automation in active campaign, we can set up our decisions and are like if else statements based on if they have that tag that we are determining here in plus this. So that's kind of how you're doing it. And you can do this for multiple questions. So you can ask another one for like, um, is speaking at events big? And then you do a different response if their answer is, yes, speaking is big. And then we apply the tag for that. So essentially you're just building out your tree for the different responses they should be getting uh, based on what tags they have inside of Active Campaign. And that's about it. So we'll go ahead and do the final touch here. And that's where I apply the tag based on them completing the survey. So this tag is the tag that you will use up here to start the whole automation.
tag completed survey. So let's go ahead and just put our tag in for that, completed survey. Cool, and then that is it. There's some other additional things you can play around with, but those are the basics and essentials for your first one. Um, so let's call this survey monkey de demo. Click save, and that is basically all you have to do for setup. So once you've saved it here, it's going to run automatically. Whenever someone finishes your survey, it's going to apply those tags that you saw in the, the setup there and it's going to store any of those answers in the fields that you wanted to. So all you're going to have left that you want to make sure you have ready to go is your automation to have a tag that matches up with the tag in plus this when they complete their survey and then do whatever filtering or segmenting you want based on those tags that you apply on those different questions to trigger whatever follow-up you want to do. And that's about it. So if you have any other questions don't hesitate to reach out. You can always find us at help at plusthis.com. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.